So are you still thinking about buying the MyQ video keypad? Well, I'm six months in to my install and stick around because I'm going to give you my honest opinion about it. So let's get to it. Hey, what's up, everybody? So I installed the MyQ video keypad back in September. Um, it's six months now. It's gone through an entire winter. Uh, we did have probably a week or two of some really cold weather. So I was able to see how the battery was performing in the really cold temperatures. And I'll have to say that it did great. Um, I did not have a lot of degradation in uh, battery life. I'm still getting currently eight to nine weeks of battery life out of each charge. And I can tell you that the device has performed flawlessly. It has zero issues. It's got crisp, clear video. It's got good audio and the motion detection works really well as well. Now, when you pair it with the um, in-garage MyQ camera and a MyQ door lock that I have on the inside of my um, interior door, um, it works phenomenally well in securing the home if you use the Amazon in-garage delivery. And we have used it several times and I can tell you it's super convenient. So if you get a chance to uh, use it, I would highly recommend it. One of the issues is when it's raining, you don't have to worry about your packages getting wet. And we've had several times where we've been able to have the packages delivered to the garage and not worried about you know the packages getting damaged. They have um, published a couple firmwares since I've had it. I don't really see a huge difference in performance. I do know that they've added a new feature for face detection. Um, I actually did a video on that and you can kind of watch that here if you want. And uh, it actually works really well. And it's nice to be able to have that extra security to where if you have a bunch of friends or family coming over, you can actually, obviously with their permission, uh, scan their face and it keeps it in the app. It doesn't store it in the cloud. So when they come over, it obviously will recognize them and notify you of actually who is at the camera. And so if you need to let them in, you can let them in if they don't have a code. Obviously, if they have their own code, they can just put the code in and it'll tell you who used the code. And obviously, you'll have facial recognition to back that up. So it has a pretty good layer of security, in my opinion. I really think that you can't go wrong in, in purchasing one. And I'll have links in the description so you can go check one out. It is uh, an Amazon associate affiliate link. So if you do happen to purchase from that link, I will get a small commission. And I greatly appreciate that. It just helps the channel. And uh, you can go see, you know, the cost is actually not bad. I think it's still under $100, maybe 80 or 90 bucks. And um, you do have to have a MyQ hub if you wanna be able to control it outside of the home. So if you wanna be able to have the remote control features, you're gonna need the hub in order to use those features. Um, but the hubs are pretty cheap. It's like you know 20 bucks or something for the hub. And that just allows it to connect to your internet and be able to use the cloud services to uh, use the um, remote function, which again, if you wanna use the advanced functionality, you will need to, um, have this subscription, but again, it's not that expensive. I know everybody hates subscriptions. You know, I always get a lot of people complaining about, I can't believe I have to pay this and pay that. I mean, I understand it. They're just making sure that they're able to continually provide a top tier product. And when they have a subscription base and they have recurring income coming in from that, they can continue to advance the product and you know make it better. Some people disagree with that. That's my opinion on it. And I have a lot of devices that I do on subscription. I'll usually pay a year in advance because a lot of times they'll give you like a 40, 50, sometimes even a 60% discount if you pay a year up front. Um, and that way you don't have to have that monthly bill coming out and you save uh, quite a bit on the subscription when you do that. But the uh, subscription allows for cloud storage, for video recordings, uh, I think it has up to 30 days. You can save clips and it has a whole lot more functionality to the camera itself. In addition to being able to control it remotely when you're outside of the home, monitor the camera outside of the home, 
So I can tell you it's definitely worth it, at least in my opinion. It's been a fantastic product. So again, links are going to be down in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or if you have one, I would love to hear what your experience is and how long you've had it and how well it's worked for you. And if you've had any issues or uh, problems with it, the only thing that I had people commenting on one of my first videos was the battery life. And through some of the comments, I think we kind of figured out, it sounds like it's a wireless problem to me. So if you have a strong wireless signal, you're not gonna have a really bad battery life. Um, it seems like when the signal's really weak and the device has to continually try to stay connected to the Wi-Fi, it's drawing too much power. And so it's causing the battery to drain prematurely. Now my wireless signal to the device is spare. Uh, I'll be putting some pictures up you know, in the video here so you can kind of see where it's at and, and the uh, signal strength and things like that. But I haven't had any issues. I don't have a problem streaming the video when I'm outside of the home. Uh, it's got a good picture quality, so it's not having any kind of uh, signal degradation uh, when you do that. So um, again, just make sure you have a decent wireless signal. Maybe you had to put an access point closer to the garage or wherever it's mounted and that should solve your problem. But yeah, my experience has been nothing but um, fantastic. And if I had another garage, I'd buy another one because <laughs> it's been that good. Um, I really like that it pairs well with the other MyQ products, my interior garage. So when the um, Amazon key delivery in garage delivery um, occurs, it automatically locks my interior door and I don't have to worry about it. So it's been nice. Again, if you have any comments or questions, Put them down in the comments section. I'll be happy to answer them, and I'd love to hear your comments. And uh, we really appreciate you tuning in and, and all the comments and activity that's been on my videos has been fantastic. If you find this content to be helpful, I'd sure appreciate a like and subscribe. And you can hit that bell icon to get future notifications when I do these updates. And you'll definitely want to watch this video here because it goes over all the installation of the video keypad.